Welcome back to Breakfast Central. This morning, we've had big stories around the continent, and we have more that we're looking at this second hour. But first, let's look through the front pages of the newspapers and share with you what the front pages are saying. I'll be beginning with our first paper this morning. Our first paper is the Nation newspaper. On the front page of the Nation newspaper, Mike orders arrest of developer after death of two in Abuja building collapse. Say what you want about Nyeso Mwike and his um, draconian approach on the day of the inauguration that, that was giving him John Magufuli style uh, uh, persona. I think that this is something that we must applaud because we have been talking about building collapses over and over again on this show. I'm talking about the, you know, the fact that nothing has been done to the, those who, who were meant, meant to um, hold or uh, you know, build these buildings with trust, right? So if he orders for the arrest of the developer in Abuja. And people start to see that if you build, if you put together a building and the building collapses, you are going to jail. The landlord of the building is going to jail. We will start having people paying attention, doing their due diligence, and using materials that are not questionable. Until then, we will keep seeing building collapses. So I applaud Wiki for this. Yeah, but I mean, um, ordering arrest doesn't stop the need for a proper investigation, you know, as and to find out what exactly led to the building collapse, it may not necessarily be the developer's fault in the end. But well, at so, least let's let's start um, to investigate yeah, what it is. I also, you know, I'm used to Nigeria being that place where everybody wants to show working. Um, not necessarily because you know they they will get to the root of it, but they, somebody just needs to be punished for it. Um, so yes, you know, people should be you know investigated. You know the you know the uh, cause of the of the collapse should be found out. I 100% agree. If anyone's guilty, yes. Let them go to jail. Well, we hear that they are on the run. We I don't even that. know if we have laws. But, well, they are. Nigeria, I don't think the shortage of laws has ever been our problem. It's the implementation I'm, I'm of these laws. Laws, you know, that can determine what your crime is. What, what would be the developer's crime? The negligence. Negligence, oh, okay. yes. Okay. Because you owe a duty of care to everyone who is sort of buying that property yeah. or who's living in that property. Still on the front page of the, net, uh, of the Nation newspaper, Edun, hyperinflation, low GDP per capita to end soon. How? Interesting. Unemployment rate down to 4.1% in Q1. Again, how? I mean, we hear that the mode of defining unemployment, the, the, the definition of unemployment has been redefined. But if you say this to Nigerians in the streets, are they going to agree with you? That's another conversation. Our investments drive on calls by Shetima. Wagner boss made mistakes, says Putin. We did take uh, the unfortunate the report of his demise. Uh, he and nine other people on the plane. Zimbabwe opposition leader claims Regan Nelson Chamisa has been claiming this for weeks and months. And even the people of Zimbabwe have said that the skills have not been in balance. President graduated in 1979. Chicago Varsity replies Atiku. Why we can't release academic records to plaintiff? Why? Anyway, if you want to find out why they can't re release the academic records, get a, yourself a copy of the Nation newspaper. Hold governors accountable for palliatives, says Tinubu. APC leaders step into Sonwulu assembly role. Why nominees were stopped. Ondo government overrules Akure monarch over market closure. And final story, potholes endanger, endanger lives on third mainland bridge. Every other day, we see, um, we see those portals. We hope that they can be fixed as soon as possible because it has the likelihood of causing very dire accidents. And the final story here, Nigeria ranked 11th globally in internet penetration. Okay, that's all that we have on The Nation. Let's head to The Punch newspaper. All right, The Punch news this morning. In the economy, it says Naira crumbles to 920 Naira to the dollar. It was in, you know, it showed some improvement last week, I think, but of yes. course it's back. Now to 9.20, of course, four marketers push for four, for fresh uh, price hike. Good morning, Nigeria. Uh, four price can't remain at 617, with Naira falling below 900 Naira to the dollar, says Ipman. Good morning, Nigeria. Nigerians back subsidy removal. Federal government replies Obaseki. Labor wants NNPC limited uh, probe. But not just labor, I think there's a ton of Nigerians that would agree that the NNPC should be probed. Um, but will they be? Well, the, the, the likelihood is that. not, you know, very strong. Um, but there is that. ECOWAS military action won't yield positive results in EJ, says Russian envoy. And also, federal government makes uh, two billion uh, or two trillion naira taxes uh, from Google, Facebook, um, foreign firms, says a report. 
Um, it, it, we see these things every now and then. The problem that I have, and I'm sure a lot of people have, is when it's time for us to, you know, create an annual budget or, or to spend on education or spend on, on infrastructure or spend on healthcare, we suddenly, you know, almost do not have, you know, the money for it. Yes. But every now and then you hear about trillions of naira that have been recovered from one place or the other. Also on the Punch newspapers this morning, Fallen slabs trapped us while fleeing Abuja collapsed building. Um, while fleeing Abuja collapsed building, sorry, says the victims. And also, um, one other story this morning. I'm going to just say: Federal government faces heavy criticism over 4.1 percent unemployment data. These are the big stories on the Punch newspapers this morning. And um, yeah, that's all we can share at this point. Let's see how the four prize uh, balances itself out. All right, let's move over to the Daily Trust newspaper uh, on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper, we can see the big story, Niger crisis, cow sheep shortage, shortage looms as border closure bites harder. Supply reduced by 50% in Borno, 70% in Katsina. My dates in four trucks grounded. Largest cattle market in Jigawa, desolate. Uh, still on the front page, we have Tinumbu asks clerics to dialogue further with Hunter. Working for one hour shows you are employed. NBS tells Nigerians. That's, is that a, that's a good one. So that stress will not kill us. So working for one hour shows you are employed. <laughs> but no, but then, that, that's, what, but that's then, what they used to recalibrate. Exactly. the, and Which is wrong. Because yes. it means that if you... I think it says one hour a week or one hour... I, don't, I remember. I, I need but to read that. But how much money can you make in one hour that will be enough to pay your bills? If you calculate what the minimum wage is for a month. Mm. You know, and that's ex expected that you're working a nine to five. Mm. So, how much are you going to make in one hour? Exactly. You know, if thirty thousand naira is the minimum wage, but um, the recalibration would have to be explained properly to Nigerians. You because know, Nigerians so they will not with. agree with that four point one percent. But even the four point one percent, it also depends. I mean, so I think it's it's just a thing that we would have to bring analysts to actually properly break down. That makes more sense. Um, because no, you know, a lot of people would not agree with that. All right. Man, wife arrested for stealing neighbor's two-year-old son. That's unfortunate. But good news that I do hope that the son is alive, complete, healed, and hearty. Tinubu's economic reforms to attract investments to Nigeria, according to Shetima. Wiki orders owners arrest as two killed in Abuja building collapse. At the top of the paper, we have Dangote beats MTN Globalcom banks to emerge most valuable brand in Nigeria for sixth year. My educational records not relevant to articles petition, Tinubu tells US court. And the final story, Jackpa, Nigerians stranded in UK after emptying savings on travel. We are not speaking enough about this unfortunate Jackpa trend. And why this is a big deal is because I personally know people who packed all that they had, sold all that they had to be able to afford just enough to get them to the UK and maybe pay their school fees for a time. And you know that if you're going there to school, you have a limited amount of hours you can work. You can't work as long as you, you know, as you, as long as you typically would like to work. You have in some places you can have maybe 16 hours a week, depending. I'm not quite sure what the rules are. 20 hours. 20 hours, great. So I, you know, I've seen a situation where somebody got there and 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 was very stranded, like really, really stranded. People from home had to step in and do contributions. So I hope that as we're thinking about leaving the shores of the country to look for greener pastures, quote unquote, we understand the risks. That if you sell everything that you have where you can have a fairly decent life, nobody's discouraging you from Jack Mine, but if you must, understand what the risks are. All right. Let's go to the Business Day uh, newspapers this morning. Just a few stories there we can see. Uh, New Central superstar um, um, anchor, Benga Borua, Love right it. there on screen. Yes. Um, not sure what he's doing there, but of course the picture is pretty clear. Um, it says... Um, Oh, he's with the president, the chairman, council, Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and of course, uh, Udeme Ufot, the chief executive officer, SONU, during the NBCC sharing experience series. Um, all right. On a business day this morning, new NBS job data suggests Nigeria is uh, the U.S. Unemployment rate falls to 4.1% on new methodology. And also, world's most wanted uh, mineral offers, Nigeria's uh, Nigeria chance to cash in, and we're talking about lithium now. It is one of the most sought-after minerals uh, in the world because, of course, of the cell phone market and um, a lot of other things that it can be used for. Also, Naira falls to 905 Naira to the dollar on renewed pressure at parallel market. 
Uh, we can also see here 40,875 Nigerian students and health workers get UK visas in one year. That is astonishing. And now that isn't calculating the ones who have gotten Canadian visas and one who have gotten American visas, the ones who have also gotten to, gone to Schengen countries. Um, the country is going to be empty in a couple of years from what it looks. All right. These are the stories that we can share on uh, the business day and, of course, uh, the newspapers for this morning. We hope that you grab a copy and, um, you, know, you know, get yourself informed. But also tweet at us. Let us know your thoughts on any of the stories that catches your attention at New Central TV. The